Welcome, in this video, I will be talking about the relationship and linearization for AP Physics. Here, this is a standard linear equation that is graphed by points and they drew a line of best fit. The line of best fit here is linear and the fact that it is linear, you could write it in the form y equals mx plus b. Here, you could calculate things like slope using the slope formula and you can find the equation by using the point slope formula and so forth. This is a very unique case where it is linear. The situation arises in AP physics where now it is not linear. So we have to deal with non-linearized graphs. So we are going to do something called linearization. Linearization, it takes a non-linear graph and makes it linear. To do this, there are three steps. One, recognize that the nonlinear equation the nonlinear relationship on the y and x graph is either quadratic, inverse, or etc. The most common parts, the quadratic looks like a parabola. The inverse might look like this, or the square that looks like this. These are your three common ones in physics. Then you're going to regraph it um, based on its proportionality, like so. Then after that, you're going to draw a line of best fit, then find the equation. This is a unique skill that you have to learn. But again, linearization is the process of taking a non-linear graph and making it linear. And there's no thinking involved here. It is all memorization. First, let us me give you a distance versus time graph. Here is the time, which is the x value. And the y value it's the distance, is the distance covered. If you graph it and you draw a line here, you see it's not straight. It looks like it curves like this. And we would say this behaves like a quadratic. We would say this behaves like a quadratic. And the fact that it is be behaves like a quadratic, we know it looks like something like x squared. So what we need to do now is linearize it. So now what you're going to do, the original graph was time and distance. But remember, we said it's quadratic, so it should behave like x squared. So what are we going to do? Well, in this case, the x-axis, we are just going to graph x squared. How do you do that? Well, remember, this is what the original x was. The new one is going to be x squared. So the first one was 0. What is 0 squared, which is 0? Next one, you have 1. What is 1 here? 1 squared is equal to 1. What about the second one? 2. 2 squared is equal to 4. Next one, 3. 3 squared is equal to 9. And so forth and so forth. 4 squared, because that is the fourth part, is equal to 16. And the last part is 5. 5 squared is equal to 25. Now, once you graphed it, 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and the distance, the values here remain the same, notice that this is now linear. Okay? So this, from here to here, they adjusted the x value to linearize it. That is the process of linearization. There are general rules for linearization that will always get you to, to change the x-axis to match the relationship. Okay, If it is a quadratic, which will look something like this or this, you want to put an x squared on the x-axis. So you're going to square the x values. But if it looks like an inverse, like this, right, where it decays, you want to put a 1 over x on the x-axis. Then lastly, if it, is a, um, if it behaves like a square root, which looks like this, you are going to put a square root of x. Or, because it also, you can rewrite this as x to the power of 1 half on the x-axis as well. Okay? I made your life easy. Um, I'm going to show you an example, then I'm going to give you a cheat sheet at the end. Okay, 
if we draw this, the radius and the speed here, notice it curves like this. This behaves like a square root function. So what do we need to do? Well, the radius has to be changed, exactly like what we said here. We have to square root the x. So do you see all these values here? We are going to square root it. All right. So what is the square root of 0? So what is the square root of 0? Right here. Square root of 0 is 0. What is the square root of 1? Square root of 1 is 1. What is the square root of 4? Square root of 4 is equal to 2. And likewise, likewise, they square root 9 here. Square root 9 is equal to 3. Then we do 16. Square root 16 is equal to 4. Square root 25 is equal to 5. Then they square rooted the 36 to get you 6 here. So notice these values all come from you square rooting it. It says it right here, from square rooting it. Once you square root it, or likewise, again, it's, it's the same thing as to the 1 half power, and you graph it, now it looks like what? A straight line. Okay. Notice that's all what we did. We applied or adjusted the x-axis values so that it becomes linear. That's the purpose of linearization. There's a cheat sheet that I gave you. These are all the representations and relationships that you're going to need for AP physics. Okay. The first two are your simple ones. You might have something like this graph. And the relationship is, if x increases, y um, doesn't change. So there's no relationship between the variables. Do you need to linearize it in any way? No, because this is already linear. So the equation would look like y is equal to b, right? Or any constant. Sometimes it might have a positive slope or a negative slope. In this case, if it has a um, slope of some kind, we would say, and it starts from 0, we would say that x increases and y increases because it goes up. So this is called directly proportioned. Okay, This will behave like a linear equation of y is equal to mx plus b. Do you have to linearize it? No, because it's already linear. Here are your three common ones. Okay, The decay one, which is your, in, they call this inverse proportional, and that behaves like this. There's a 1 over x. Likewise, the equation has 1 over x. So if you want to graph this, right, to change this to linearization, you would have to graph on the x-axis, the x becomes x to the negative 1 power, or you can write it as 1 over x. It's the same thing. And the y remains the same. So this is called inverse proportional. Next one, if it curves like this, this is called squared of x. Okay? So this, to graph it, the x-axis, you just square it, and the y-axis remains the same. Then this, you're going to linearize it. Okay? And this one originally will look like y equals to mx squared plus c. Lastly, the square root. Okay? This costs proportional to the square root. Or you could see it as, or you could do it the opposite way. Up to you. Okay? To do this, to linearize it, you can either graph the x, so you can square root the x, and the y remains the same. Or, in this case, you could actually do it differently, where you square the y, and you have the x remain the same. It could either look like the top one or the bottom one. Okay, But these are what you need to do to the domain or the x values such that you can linearize it, okay? These are all supposed to be memorized for the AP exam. You will have to be able to recognize the nonlinear equation, learn to adjust one of the x-coordinates so it becomes straight. But there you go. That is how you linearize and describe the relationship of functions.